New video series, A Furry Plays TDS. I heard you guys love furries, and I live to serve my community, so I made the ultimate sacrifice and transformed into a furry. The only problem is I couldn't find a furry body, so I got stuck as a half hairy, half furry creature. Let me know down in the comments where I could find a furry body so I can go full on furry. This is an amazing challenge. As you already know, it's 120 golden cowboys against a fallen king. And here's the big question that everybody wants to know can we win because to be honest lately we've been on a losing streak i thought we'd already used every tower with good enough dps to take down the fallen king which is why we're on the crossroads map because this is one of the easiest maps to beat so be sure to watch this video all the way to the end because i think you're going to be pleasantly surprised with the result now the golden cowboy has kind of a troubled history when i started playing the game back in march of 2020 it was garbage nobody wanted it in fact it was so bad i got it for my first golden crate without even making a YouTube video about it, and I didn't care. It was quite literally thought of as the worst golden tower. But not long after that, the cowboy got one of the most useful reworks in the history of the game. It started giving cash. This made it the only tower in the game that could completely replace the farm. This was an amazing change because not only was the cowboy a viable early to mid game tower, it was now essentially two towers, opening up a slot for you to bring in another strong late game tower. These changes really elevated it from the worst golden tower to the best but we wouldn't want our golden towers to be too good after all they only cost 50,000 gold and not a hundred thousand so it was nerfed into mediocrity where it still exists to this day now I'm not saying it's useless if you're playing solo fallen I think it's really worth using because you get more out of it since there's no one else attacking the zombies so you end up making more money from it but if you're playing with friends in a regular or mega server it just isn't worth using because it takes too long for it to be profitable even in the game you're watching right now where everyone is basically using just the golden cowboy we still have to use farms just to get enough money to upgrade them early enough in the game for them to be really useful now i want to compare this tower to the militant because they have similar dps and range as you guys already know we tried this challenge with the tower formerly known as john and lost it was close but we still lost and i thought well since they have similar stats we're gonna lose with this tower too but it turned out that that might not be the case and let me show you why just just looking at the max level stats, the DPS for the John is 40 and the DPS on the Golden Cowboy is 44. This might not seem like much, but that 4 extra damage adds up when we're talking about 120 troops. So 120 Johns do 4,800 damage per second and 120 Golden Cowboys do 5,280. Of course, this is only if every single tower is attacking at the same time, which probably isn't going to happen unless the tower has a big range. Now this is another stat where the Cowboy outdoes the Militant. The range for the max level militant is 17 and the range for the max level golden cowboy is 18 so with the dj range boost the golden cowboy once again comes out ahead with a total range of 24.3 compared to the john's 22.95 so if you're like me and thought the golden cowboy would lose to the fallen king because militant lost to the fallen king you might be pleasantly surprised cowboy still got a few tricks left up his sleeve the supports we used here are of course the commander the dj and the electroshocker commander is going to be especially helpful for a tower like Cowboy since it's going to allow us to really get the most out of his fire rate which is actually going to give us a DPS of 88 while Call to Arms is active. Now I'm going to give a shout out to my outlaw teammates for this game. Bin192737 Commander681 Jurassic Period Milo Code Lepa Fuera 457 One Hand the Man Sunset Awesome YT and the Odd Ones Out First. Alright guys you know what to do. Grab that cat and relax and I'll see you right back here at the end.
What? No way! I didn't think you could win with the Golden Cowboy. And it wasn't even that close. He did way better than Militant. This just goes to prove that at max level, Golden Cowboy is a late game tower. Now this makes me wonder, can we do this with the regular Cowboy? If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button with your forehead, hit that subscribe button with your big toe, and turn on notifications however you can so you don't miss any of my amazing upcoming content. And while you're at it, go ahead and join my growing Discord community. You can do that at discord.gg slash just Harrison things. And I will see you guys next time. Take care, be safe, and never forget what I always say. Peace.